Good day YouTube. This is just a bit of a first look at Linux Mint 20. Now this is XFCE edition, so the desktop environment there is the, the more lightweight version there. So let's get down to it and have a bit of a look at it here. So the XFCE desktop environment, as we can see, it's a little bit more of a lightweight desktop environment. I seem to enjoy it. It is a bit more perhaps bare bones, but still fully featured. So uh, in fact, even the start menu itself I like, as you can change this uh, to your heart's content. Make it a bit more slimline, like uh, say for example cinnamon, that kind of thing there. But very, very nice indeed. If we were to say move across to the file manager, get a bit of a feel for that. It's also a fairly lightweight file manager uh, called Thunar. So let's open up this puppy here. 1.8.x, nothing too excitingly new and uh, different there, but it is what it is. It shows you and opens up everything that you would need and more, but that's pretty much it there for that one there. Now, if we were to run back to the start menu here, you'll see you've got a lot of applications here, just panning through them now for your own amusement, but you can pretty much install any of these uh, pieces of software on another machine or another Linux distribution onto this machine as well, so it's pretty much standardized stuff there. One thing that it is pretty good to note is it is the long-term service release. So you can install it once and run it for years and years and years. I believe it's 2025, uh, the, the length of time for which it will run for. So that's really good to see. So the Linux Mint 20 does run on the Ubuntu 20.04 long-term service release base. And that's what it's really all about there. Uh, if we were to have a little bit of a look at the kernel, we can see it is running also on that latest release kernel there from Ubuntu. Not the latest in the world, but it's very cutting edge and new in terms of kernels, in terms of at least some other operating systems that do run on some older, more stable kernels perhaps. But the good news about a later kernel means that you've got more hardware support, a few more features, a bit of this and that. So yeah, any latest CPUs or GPUs, for instance, will benefit from that at least to some level. Uh, let's see, if we were to jump across to the uh, the usage here, now this isn't quite uh, official, it is in a beta release still at the moment, probably very important to mention here, but uh, we have it idling out on the CPU, which is nice enough to see, using about 630 megabytes of RAM, although I would only take that with a grain of salt because it's not completely optimized, still being in the beta at the moment. But that's pretty much just a simple quick look guys, just a little bit of a fun look at the latest release of, uh, of Linux Mint 20 XFCE edition. You'll see I'm doing other videos of other editions there as well, which will be a bit of fun. Hopefully you'd like to have a look at them. But yeah, thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I hope to see you in the next one.